we are in the Milford Sound, which looks like something straight out of Jurassic Park, but even better because it's real. We're in Fiordland. Uh, we're in the northern part of the fjords. There are 14 fjords in southwest New Zealand. It's a magnificent area, one of the wettest and probably the most uh, remotest, one of the more pristine areas in New Zealand. It's beautiful. This place is, it's massive. You just look everywhere, waterfalls everywhere, cloud in the sky. Beautiful, never been here before, so I'm just gonna be up here the whole time. So on this trip and the previous trip up in Northland, um, we've been working closely together with the team from Cawthron. Um, a couple of the members are actually part of the microplastics project as well. And it's just fantastic to have these different expertise brought together and share the experience because it's bringing together all those different bits of knowledge. We were up in Northland back in June and now we've come down to Fjordland and we're back at it with the microplastics and a biosecurity data collection. We are the biosecurity team um, and we are again here like trying all of our different um, tools around detecting eDNA of invasive species. We are um, testing a lot of new technologies that we brought with us and see what we can get out of it. We're gonna um, tow the plankton net behind the boat. We try to get as much water as we can and then we're gonna use the filters this time straight away on the boat to extract DNA out of it. And then we wanna sequence also straight away on the boat and see what we can get. The first step that we have to do to, is to extract our sample so that we can just extract the nucleic acid. And the nucleic acid is DNA and RNA. The DNA is like the blueprints for your house and the RNA is like the tool that's used to take that plan and convert it into a cell. Our famous cruising speed net that you saw on the first cruise, um, this time we added uh, some uh, <laughs> crazy extension that you can see here. <laughs> and it records temperature, salinity, pressure and uh, conductivity. How cool is this? Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> We're really just scratching the surface at the moment. So it's how much plastic's actually out there. Um, there have been lots of studies, increasing number of studies, but there's a huge amount of variability. And we really don't know what the risks are until we know how much and what type. I hope that I'm down here you don't find many microplastics being so far away from civilization and everything, but you'll be surprised at the long distance and the life that plastic has in the marine environment. A little bit scary that no matter where you go, you tend to find some type of plastic. This boat is called Stranic. It's captained by Rodney Russ, um, who has graciously invited us on board to do our research and it's the most epic boat. It's stunning. I think we're very lucky to be able to call it home for the next week. So we've just uh, finished a, just on a week's work for the microplastics survey and the environmental DNA team. Okay, two knots deploy now. Tool deployed now. A wonderful experience this past week, um, working from a fabulous ship um, with a wonderful crew. Really invaluable working together with people of all different expertise.